Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So, this package here came by way of Brent over at Backpack B. Uh, go check out his channel, awesome dude. Um, he came on the live stream uh, two weeks ago, I think. Yeah, or last week, I forget. And uh, it was a good time. Uh, dude's just cool. He, he's really into um, animation, sort of, and, and editing, I guess I should say. Not animations. Um, and he does some dope editing over on his channel. Go check out Backpack B. Uh, so I sent him my uh, CKF Evo 2.0 unboxing knife. Here is the Lefty Leong Ma KUF version 2 without Teletubby. Uh, dude, this may be, man, it's one of my favorite knives now. Um, look at that action. It's not like a guillotine, but you give it one guiding shake, and it is going down. Uh, that's what she said. And, uh, uh, yeah, Teletubby's gone, so I really like that part. Thanks to OCD for EDC for doing that. Uh, but anyway, I sent my, um... My CKF Evo 2.0, and he sent me this. So this is a uh, Chaburkov Streich, I believe. I don't know if it's a large or small. I know it has one thumb stud that seems to be a theme lately. Like I had that Norseman. Um, it has some Russian writing on it. I cannot read. Excuse me. Some more shit. I can't read. And then Chaburkov. Small Streich M390 Titanium Chiberkov. So let's get into it. See what we think of this bitch. You get this uh, card right here. This is pretty cool. It's like a plastic, kind of like a passport for the uh, knife. <laughs> pretty dope. Uh, it's cool. It's got all the specs on there in mother flipping Russian, though. Thanks. Okay. Um, yeah, I've always thought these were cool. Uh, and he has one, and it uh, seemed like a good time to check one out. Uh, very nice, uh, lightweight. Uh, it's small. It's called a small, but I mean, it you know, it fits my hand pretty well. Um, very, very nice. I, I just, so far right off the bat, I like the overall build of it. Uh, dead nuts on the centering. Check that out. Uh, yeah, just cool finish on the titanium. I've never bought one of these because I guess I was never fully interested in how right-handed they are now this has one thumb stud but it means I can reverse flick it left-handed and it's a inset liner lock so oh detent oh detent um, if you give it the flickeroonie it comes out ultra comfortable in the hand wow the ergos are fantastic um, m390 drop point blade with a bead blast. I mean, the action is obviously disgusting because of how weak the D10 is. Um, it's a Russian thing, guys. Uh, CKF does it all the time. See that D10? Just, yeah. But it does allow you to have a very nice drop. I do like the overall action. Um, I love that liner lock. I love the build. I love the feel. I mean, this is a cool ass knife, guys. I did not know how nice these were. I just would want a stronger detent if I got one, and I'd probably want dual thumb studs so I can dick around with it uh, left and right handed, you know what I mean? Uh, flick. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I don't have a ton, it's kind of one of those knives where it's like, hey, it's out of the box, you know, and now you're just looking at it, drop point, titanium, got a nice clip. Yeah, it feels like it might be a little tight in the pocket. Let's find out. Yep, tight in the pocket. Look at that. Took a little bit with it. Um, now, these pockets right now are... Sh I destroyed them today uh, with that Leon Ma. Just not the best shorts for that. But um, you could front flip this, I would suppose. You see the jimping there and everything. So let's give it a shot. Oh! Hello, so is this supposed to be a front flipper? And that's why it's, ah, that's why it's got the light detent, because of the front flipper. That is satisfying, holy shit, I didn't even realize that. 
I hope Backpack knows about that, because that's dope right there. Um, I think these are like three to four hundred dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Sounds about right for a Russian knife, right? Um, man, I wish that d type was stronger, though. You can't... I don't know. Like, can I do it a different way or something? I can't, like, my finger gets in the way, too, you know? Like, I gotta somehow do it like this. So maybe it's more about me than it is about the detent. Hold on. Let me feel the detent if I can. I don't know. It might suck too much of the blade in, yeah. Oh, no, it's super weak, yeah. But, you know, I don't know. Me getting hung up on detents? What? No. Yeah, there you go. So, anyway, other than the detent, this thing is dope, guys. Um, and I, I can't speak to the fact that that's a normal occurrence on these, the detent being that light. Uh, one thing I'll note that's weird, and I, this seems to be a Russian thing. So maybe somebody disassembled this and put it back together. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Never mind. I was going to say the pivot was on the wrong side, but nope, it's... It's on the right side. I'm sorry. Um, it tends to happen with uh, CKF knives sometimes. You'll get one and the pivot will be like backwards. And you're like, wait, what? Um, but I never know if it's like because I bought it used. Or that's how they do it. Or what. Um, this is a cool knife. Yeah. I'm really liking it. Uh, you guys have heard the one thing I don't like about it. Jesus, Kev. Keep fucking talking about the detent. Um, love the front flipper, love the stud, it'd be cool if it was a dual stutter, but what are you gonna do, right? Um, yeah, so there you go, Chaburkov Streesh Small M390 Plain Tie, really cool. Thank you Backpack B, thank you Brent for shooting this over to me, um, very, very cool knife, uh, I will be doing the full review, uh, he said I could take it apart, um, you know, sometimes when people say that, I'm like, maybe they just need it to be clean, and <laughs> so they ask me to do it, because there's no good reason to ask me to take a knife apart, right, guys? Oh, man, I love the ergos on this. Yeah, as a knife, this thing would be freaking fantastic. I mean, I haven't tried the blade yet, uh, but it looks like a good grind. It's got a, a full flat, I mean, full flat, feels thin. Uh, yeah, dope-ass knife, guys. Let's just see any other markings or anything. Yep, down here it says 2021 and some shit you can't read. Uh, M390 on the blade. So right here you have the Streesh Maker's Mark. You have M390 on this side. And then down on the blade you have... Where was it now? Oh, back here. 2021 and some shit you can't read. Hold on. It was easier to read it like this here. I don't know if you can see that shit. I can't even see what I'm showing you, so. <laughs> Alright, that's it, guys. I've ranted, raved, and rambled enough. Um, I love you guys. I really, really love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.